In this video, we will demonstrate how to assemble and rig the Titan stretcher for a steep angle rescue configuration. This video is provided for skills maintenance and people must receive formal instruction before attempting these techniques. This video shows the process for rigging the stretcher and critical safety checks must be completed before using the stretcher in an angular environment. Assembly of the two-piece Titan stretcher is best done with two people. Lift the center of the stretcher and interlock the teeth. Tighten the locking handles hand tight, then loosen just enough so there is no force on the lock. Ensure the spring-loaded locking pin is exposed. Once the stretcher has been assembled, lay the rescue and belay lines alongside the stretcher. To obtain the correct tail length, place the blue line at the end of the stretcher and the orange line one metre past the end of the stretcher. With the head end stretcher spider laid out in position, pick up the two rope lines at the delta manion to commence tying the double long tail bowline. The traditional bowline construction method or the snap bowline method may be used. Whilst there is a wide range of suitable knots for this application and many agencies utilise different knots, CFA uses the double long tail bowline and this is consistent in CFA's steep angle and high angle configurations. The dressing of the double long tail bowline, like any knot, is an important part of the construction of the knot and must not be overlooked. Once the double long tail bowline has been constructed, undo the 10mm delta malleon or the trilling. Ensure there are no twists in the head end stretcher spider. Then slide the yoke of the double long tail bowline into the delta mallion. Tighten the delta mallion finger tight. There is no need to over tighten. Take the blue rope line and tie a figure 8 knot approximately 150mm from the double long tail bowline. Take the tail of the blue rope line and tie a girth hitch around the head end of the stretcher as shown. This will become the second point of attachment or the backup for the stretcher. This rope should not take any load under normal operating conditions. Finish the attachment with retracing figure 8 and dressing correctly. The tail should be no less than 150mm and no more than 300mm. Once completed, recheck the head end attachment by pulling on the rescue line above the double long tail bowline. Take the orange rope and lay it down the centre of the stretcher and tie a figure 8, no less than 300mm, on the end of the rope. Dress and cinch the knot as tight as possible. The entire figure 8 on the bite must finish outside the base of the stretcher. Attach three long system prussics using a triple wrap prussic hitch. These will become the second points of attachment for the stretcher bearers. If there are to be four stretcher bearers, then attach four long system prussics. Starting from the foot end of the stretcher, Check and adjust the bearer tie-ins and position the long system prussic.
Moving down the side of the stretcher, adjust the bearer tie-ins and position the long system crossings. Take care not to move the rear bearer attachment links. Once completed, recheck all the lengths by holding both rope lines above the double long tail bowline. There should be no tension on the second points of attachment and all of the weight should be borne by the stretcher and the head end stretcher spider.